In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to make a seamless repeating pattern. I have an image here that I'm going to be using. The first thing to do is to add an alpha channel if it doesn't have one already. So you can right click on the layer here, go down and select Add Alpha Channel. And this will allow you to make parts of it transparent later if you want to. And now I'm going to select just a small portion of this image. So I'm going to click on the Rectangle Select tool. And then I'll start in the upper left hand corner and I'll drag down and if I press the shift key while I'm dragging I can get a perfect square and I'm going to just select about that much and now go up to the image menu and select crop to selection and this is the pattern that I'm going to be using I want to increase the contrast just a little bit on this pattern so I'll go up to the colors menu and select brightness contrast and I'm just going to pull the contrast slider up a little bit. And that looks good. Now this pattern as is doesn't make a good repeating pattern because the left and right sides don't match each other and neither does the top and bottom. And so if I put multiple copies of this side by side I'll see a seam. And I can actually look at that real quick. If I go up to the filters menu and select map and then tile a dialog box opens up that lets me set the size of a new area. And I'm just going to set the width here to 1000 pixels. And the height will be set to the same value. I'll click OK. Now this will tile the image that I had multiple times to fit this new area. But if I zoom in here, you can see along this line right here and along this line that there's an edge that can be detected. And that's because the patterns don't match on the edges. And you can see the same thing here. This line goes across this way and this way. So I'll show you how to fix that. So I'll close this. I don't need this anymore. Now this little image that I had selected, now I want to go up to the Filters menu and select Map and Make Seamless. And this modifies the image a little so that the left and right edges now match up and the top and bottom also match up. So I'll tile this again so we can take a look at that. So again I go to the filters menu, map and tile and again I'll set this for 1000 pixels. And now this is the repeating pattern that I get and if I zoom in I can no longer see any seams between the patterns. So this is what I want. So I'll close this again. And now I can save this as a pattern that I can reuse later. And to do this, you need to first determine where GIMP saves patterns on your system. And this is easy to find out. You can go up to the Edit menu and click on Preferences. And then down at the bottom here, click on the little plus sign next to the folders and one of the folders you'll find patterns. So just click on that and this shows two different directories. One of the directories is a directory that GIMP uses as its system and you don't want to change that. The other one should have a check mark which indicates that it's a writable folder and this is the location that you'll save your pattern at. And on this system right now it's in the C drive, Documents and Settings, Owner, GIMP 2.6 and Patterns. So I'll go ahead and close Preferences. And now we can save this pattern. So just go up to the File menu and select Save As. And then navigate to the directory that we found in Preferences, which in my case is the C drive, Documents and Settings, Owner, GIMP 2.6. And then down here I should find the Patterns directory, which is right here. So I can double click on that. And then I need to give my pattern a name and I'll just call it demo and you need to give it a file extension of PAT so that GIMP will recognize it as a pattern file and then click save and then a dialog box will open up which will allow you to give a description of this pattern and I'll just call it demo pattern and click save and now I'll be able to see it in my patterns dialog box 
If you don't have your dialog box open right here, you can open it by going up to the Windows menu, select Dockable Dialogs, and then click on Patterns. And since I just loaded this into the directory, I need to refresh it, so I can do that with this button right here. And now to find my particular pattern, I can click on this little button right here, and then choose View as List. And then I can see mine right here, Demo Pattern. So I can just click on that to choose it. And now I can try it out. So I'll go over here and I'll select File, New. And I'll create a new image that's 640 pixels by 400 pixels. And then I can choose the Fill Bucket and select Pattern Fill. And then right here you can see Demo Pattern is selected. And if I click somewhere here in this white background, it'll fill in this area with my new repeating pattern. And again, if I zoom in on this, I won't be able to see any seams between the pattern when it repeats. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.